In a show of solidarity, House Speaker Mike Johnson joining former President Trump when they arrived at his criminal trial in New York City. This is the, the, the fifth week that President Trump has been in court for this sham of a trial. They are doing this intentionally to keep him here and keep him off of the campaign trail. Trump is facing felony charges related to his alleged 2016 hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels, so she would keep quiet about their alleged affair and not affect the 2016 presidential election. I paid a lawyer a certain amount of money. We marked it down as legal expenses. Returning to the witness stand for a second day, Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer and fixer. On Monday, Cohen testified for more than five hours, telling the jury that it was his former boss who directed him to make the payments to Stormy Daniels. I think that he has done a lot in terms of advancing the case. And I think if he maintains his cool and his the demeanor that we saw yesterday, I think, and he owns what he did, yeah, I think he's going to do just fine. Next, Trump lawyer Todd Blanche will also have his chance to cross-examine the prosecution's key witness. But Cohn's credibility expected to be attacked, given his past convictions for lying to Congress, tax evasion, and he served time in federal prison. You know, he's all over the map. He's uh, he's hard to pin down, um, but I, I don't think that's problematic for the defense because when he speaks, he usually uh, steps in it. With the former president under a gag order, he's enlisted some Republican allies, House Speaker Mike Johnson and former presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy among the notables attending the trial. In New York City, I'm Eric Sean, Fox News.